breaking at 11. Someone shot and killed a man tonight in Atlanta. Police found the victim on West Peachtree Street. No word on who the man was or whether police made any arrests. Stay with CBS 46 for updates. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Sean Gables. More breaking news in Atlanta. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms tweeting, we are now in the green zone for COVID-19. That means the citywide mask mandate is lifted, but masks are still required in city facilities. Also breaking tonight, all power has been restored at the APD 911 center. There was a water leak Sunday afternoon that prompted the outage. Atlanta police tell us they shifted operations to a backup center. Some dispatchers told their union representatives that a lot of calls we're not being answered. And we have a heartbreaking update in Jackson County tonight. The GBI confirming that Deputy Lena Marshall has died after being shot in the line of duty. Marshall was shot Friday night while responding to a domestic call. CBS 46 is Sierra Cummings live tonight with the details. Sierra. When Deputy Marshall arrived to that Jackson County home to help a family, a woman came out and started shooting at the officer. She remained in critical condition all weekend. Her end of watch came this afternoon. Domestics and traffic stop are two of the worst things that we do. Deputy Lena Marshall responded to her final domestic call Friday night, just after nine o'clock. The GBI says the homeowners wanted a woman to leave, but she would not. When Jackson County deputies arrived, the suspect fired at Marshall and at her partner. The partner fired back, killing the suspect. She went in to help somebody and try to prevent something to go to get worse and maybe to save a life, no matter what that is. She didn't know those people. She knew nothing about them. All she knew as she went in there is this is my job to save somebody and protect somebody. Vince Champion with the local police union says officers don't need to know each other to be family. He considers this a loss for the entire law enforcement community. Jackson County even began raising funds to help with the marshal's recovery. The sheriff writing on his Facebook, their hearts are heavy tonight as the mom lost her fight. We will carry on and we will take the patrol now and she can rest in peace. And the suspect who ultimately killed Deputy Marshall is identified as Jessica Worsham. Jessica Worsham died on scene Friday. The sheriff's office says the funeral arrangements for Deputy Marshall are still being planned. I'm Sierra Cummings reporting for CBS 46 News.